Hello, and welcome to the Master and Dynamic product tutorial for the MG20 wireless gaming headphones. In this video, we will review how to select the right fit, charge, connect, and pair your MG20 wireless gaming headphones, how to use multipoint pairing to pair more than one device, how to use the MD Connect app, how to use the boom mic and onboard microphones, how to use the multifunction button and control volume, and finally, how to clean and remove your ear pads. How to select the right fit. The MG20 headband can be shortened or lengthened by gently pulling the ear cups down or gently pushing them inward towards the headband. Additionally, each ear cup can be gently rotated at the neck for an optimal fit. How to charge. To power on or off, press and hold the Bluetooth button on your headphones. The battery level will be displayed at startup. To conserve power, the MG20 will enter sleep mode after 10 minutes of not being worn. The MG20 can be charged by plugging the USB-A end of the charging cable into a power source. When the USB cable is connected, a solid orange indicator light indicates the headphones are charging. The headphones can also be used while in this mode. Once the MG20 is fully charged, a solid green light will appear. When unplugged, a solid green light at startup will indicate the battery is between 70 and 100%, orange indicates 30 to 69%, and red indicates 1 to 29%. How to connect. When connecting using the low latency USB adapter provided, plug the adapter into a PC or PlayStation and power on the MG20. If no connection is made, put the MG20 into pairing mode and ensure your PC or PlayStation is powered on. When connecting to a Bluetooth device, activate pairing mode by powering on the MG20 and continuing to hold the Bluetooth button until the ring pulses and the pairing tone is heard. Access the Bluetooth menu on your device and select M&D MG20. Up to two devices can be connected to the MG20 at one time with multipoint connection, including the low latency adapter. If two devices other than the low latency adapter are connected to the MG20, the MG20 will need to be put back into pairing mode in order to reconnect to the low latency adapter. For a wired audio connection for use with other consoles or analog devices, Power on the headphones and plug the provided USB-C to 3.5mm cable into the headphone audio input to engage passive wired audio. How to pair multiple devices The MG20 is capable of connecting to two devices simultaneously for ease of switching between two devices. When pairing to two devices using multipoint connection, first enter pairing mode and connect to the first device. Then, power off to enter pairing mode again and connect to the second device. The next time you power the MG20 back on, it will automatically connect to devices 1 and 2 simultaneously. You will now be able to pause on one device and play from the other to swap between devices. By default, the MG20 will connect to the two most recent devices you've paired with. How to use the M&D Connect app After pairing the MG20 to your phone, be sure to download the M&D Connect app before first use to perform an initial firmware update for the best MG20 experience. You can access future firmware updates, custom settings, and EQ presets unique to the MG20 within the M&D Connect app as well. M&D Connect is available for download on your device's app store. How to use the boom mic and onboard microphones. The MG20 will automatically default to the onboard microphones when the boom mic is not attached. When attached, the boom microphone will provide added clarity to the existing onboard microphones. To properly attach the boom microphone, first ensure the headphones are on the correct ears with the right cup on the right ear and the left cup on the left ear. When worn correctly, the boom mic should face towards your mouth leaving about one finger's width between the mic and your mouth. Note that the microphone mesh should point towards your mouth and the four pinholes on the back of the microphone element should face away from your face. When using the boom microphone, the mute indicator light located on the boom mic will appear red when the microphones are muted. Note that without the boom mic, no other lights will signal when the microphones are muted. How to use the multifunction button, 7.1 surround sound, and control volume. There is a multifunction button at the bottom of the right ear cup. Press once to play or pause. Press twice to skip forward and three times to skip back. To activate voice assistance, simply hold the button down. You can also answer incoming phone calls by pressing the multifunction button once. The MG20 has two volume control wheels, a microphone volume wheel, and a master volume wheel. 
The master volume wheel is located on the right ear cup and controls your listening volume. The microphone volume wheel is located on the left ear cup and controls the volume of your mic during team gameplay. It can also be pressed to mute or unmute your microphone. When muted or unmuted, a tone will be heard. Your audio will pause when the MG20 headband is lifted from your head with the on head detection feature. To turn on 7.1 surround sound, simply press the button located on the left ear cup labeled 7.1 and surround sound will be activated. How to clean your headphones and remove the ear cups. Clean the ear pads and headphones with a soft, slightly damp cloth. Be sure to not soak, submerge, or allow moisture to enter the drivers or cable jacks. The MG20 ear pads are magnetized for easy removal. Simply grab the outside ring of the ear pad and remove. To reattach, align the ear cup with the inside of the ear pad. Thank you so much for listening. We hope you enjoy your MG20 wireless gaming headphones.